Hi, my name is Chris Kuzmi. I am a longtime member and current president of the New York City Home Brewers Guild. Been home brewing since about 2001, and I love it. I'm a crazy addicted to it, and I'm happy to share it with you today. I'm also part of the New York City Degustation Advisory Team, which I formed with my partner Mary Izet, nycdat.com, and I'll be showing you how to homebrew today. Cheers. So this is the beginning of your brew day. You are either going to do an all grain batch, or you're doing an extract batch, or, or a partial mash. A partial mash is a combination of both all grain brewing and extract brewing. This is extract, this is um, liquid malt extract. This is dried malt extract. And this is the malt before it becomes malt extract. So this, these are our base malts. What defines the beer on top of this, this will give us a lot of fermentable sugars and the base of the beer. What defines a beer is the percentage of which, which you use that in combination with specialty grains, specialty malts. These have all been kilned and uh, heated to different temperatures to get different flavors out of it. And this is what will make the beer we're making today uh, a brown porter. We're gonna use some crystal malt, we're gonna use uh, some brown malt, some chocolate malt, and just experiment and have fun. So with the partial mash uh, and, and partially all grain, partially extract, we're going to firsthand, we're going to take our specialty grains, which define the beer, we're gonna grind them up in a malt mill, such as this, and we are going to put them into a mesh bag like this, and we're gonna steep them for about half an hour uh, so that we can get all the sugars and all the, all the defining characteristics of, of, this, of these malts uh, and make our beer. And then after that, we will end up adding our malt extract, whether it's dried malt extract or, or, um, or liquid malt extract. So first we have to grind our grist. Doing this tends to get very, very tiring. So what a lot of us home brewers do is we get a drill and replace this handle with a drill. Now what this mill does, it's just enough to crush these up and expose the enzymes in the, in, in the middle so that we can extract the sugar. But it's not going to be too fine so as to get to extract bitterness. Here we have our specialty grains. We're gonna pour them into our mesh bag. In essence, making a tea bag with which to steep at 154 degrees. Right now this water is 152 degrees. We're going to basically steep these grains in here to create our beer. So now it's been half an hour later. Uh, we have what we want, or we have our desired flavors from our specialty malts, and we're going to use malt extract to complete this and get us the wort that we need for our boil. Uh, so I have three cans of malt extract. It varies from recipe to recipe, so whatever your, your recipe tells you, do that. Now what you don't want to do is you don't want to squeeze this mesh bag. If you squeeze it, much like a tea bag, you're gonna get a lot of bitterness uh, and astringent flavors uh, that, that are just unwanted flavors. You don't need to. You, you've got enough of the good stuff. Trust me. 